the top of the wall. <laughs> Look at the cove where we are. There's nobody, there's not a soul but us. I spent a week on a yacht named the San Antonio, traveling from Split down to Dubrovnik and back to Split. These are the highlights of all the different islands I visited, along with some of the fun swim stops in the private coves along the way. My girlfriends and I boarded the yacht on Saturday morning in Split. We had the opportunity to meet the other passengers and the staff on our way to a swim stop and our first evening in the gorgeous island of Havar. This is our first swimming spot. Day two, we're off to Havar. It's a little windy today. Today we're headed into the town of Havar on the island of Havar. And it is, I believe, the, one of the biggest islands and it is the sunniest island here in Dalmatia. It's also known for lifestyles of the rich and famous. So if you wanna see and be seen, you definitely want to come to Havar. As we disembarked from our yacht in Havar, we noticed the gorgeous limestone walkways, buildings, plazas, and lots and lots of restaurants to have a cocktail and some delicious food. Cheers, salute. Here's to Havar, Croatia, or four in the local language. Cheers. 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 And we're four. And we're four. And we're having four and drinks. And we're four. And we're having four drinks. And for sunset, we decided to walk to the top of the hill where we could see the entire port and all of our yachts coming in to dock for the evening. It was so cool to tour all of the yachts as they were docked next to each other each evening. Well, good morning. It is day three on the beautiful San Antonio and yeah, see it's like glass this morning. It, it, yep, this is life. I keep saying that. This is life. But this is the life. Make sure to join the tribe and become a member of the community by clicking the link in the description below. Our next stop was the Pelgesac Peninsula, which felt like an island, but it was actually the Croatian mainland. Here, we disembarked, had a cocktail, and then headed into the mountains for a delicious homemade dinner at an agriturismo. Before dinner, we had a tour of a sweet little church and we had the opportunity to meet the local wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> at the dinner, we had some interesting homemade spirits, delicious pork, lamb, and beef, as well as homemade bread and some charcuterie. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's like dessert. That is like diesel Dra fuel. Dragon breath. That's dragon breath. <laughs> Day four is in Miet at the National Park. At each new island, the staff takes great care of us as we disembark, and then Yvonne, our guide, takes us on a little tour of the island. A ticket. Thank you. Good morning, it is day four. We're on the island of Miet, spelled M-L-J-E-T, Miet. I practiced this for about 10 times with our guide and I still can't get it right. And we're going to be hiking and swimming in one of the salt lakes. So can't wait, all of us are going. There are like 30 people around me and Ivan is gonna tell us all about the island and the national park. So there's a sweet little island in the middle of Miet, the national park, where they have a monastery and a little church uh, of St. Mary. It takes about 15 minutes on the boat to get out here. And honestly, when you walk the entire island, it only takes about eight minutes of walking to walk the entire island. And life on the San Antonio is basically the same every afternoon after lunch. We all seem to come up to the top deck and have a nap or a glass of wine, read a book, and just relax waiting on our afternoon swim stop. Every day was another island as well as a delicious swim stop in a secluded cove somewhere along the way. So after swim time, it is a brawl sprint time. <laughs> Hello, 
Hello, Dubrovnik. It's so cool. We're in Dubrovnik. We're actually looking at the walls of the city here. It's just incredible. It looks so small from the sea. It's so beautiful. Well, good morning, Dubrovnik. We landed last night, had a buffet dinner, which was delicious. And today we're headed up the vernacular and going to take a tour of the city. And then me personally, I'm going to go walk the walls. Our first adventure for the day, we are on the gondola and we are going to go see the views of the walls in Dubrovnik from the top of the mountain. I definitely suggest walking the walls of Dubrovnik in the evening before they close and after all of the cruise ships have left town for the day. People everywhere and this is not a busy day in Dubrovnik. Well, it's official. We're on the walls of Dubrovnik. It really is spectacular. I've seen a lot of walled cities and a lot of places in my life, but this is second to none. It's unbelievable how well preserved this city is. Well, good morning. I am still in my PJs. It is about 7.15. We have just left Dubrovnik and we are headed to Korsula. So first coffee of the morning, just out of bed long enough. As soon as they turn on the engines, it wakes us up and I want to come out and see what's going on. So anyway, we have a couple hours and then a swim stop, but the weather has changed today. The weather is much cooler and windier. It's really fall now. So Anyway, we'll see if I do a swim, but in the meantime, coffee. The best view of town is from the top of the bell tower. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous view. My foot doesn't even fit on the step. <laughs> it is quite the hike up to the bell tower in Korchala, but it is so worth it. So worth it. It's so worth it. And my favorite thing about Korchala was in the evening, I headed out to one of the outdoor bars, had a glass of wine, and listened to some of the local musicians. And day seven, we were in Brach, almost back to Split. And we've just arrived at our final swim stop just outside a bowl in Brach. And um, yeah, it's kind of cool, but still gonna take a swim. Morning. It is about 8.30 on the last day. We are already back in split and I am so sad to be leaving this boat. I don't want to leave. We don't want to leave. So sad. Thank you very much San Antonio and the crew at San Antonio. We appreciate you. And here they come with our luggage. What a fun week it's been on the San Antonio. The crew was amazing. We saw some gorgeous islands and I'm looking forward to heading back to Croatia very soon. I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Perfect. <laughs> One more time in here. That we are going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Good. Wait, is it day four? Is it day four? Okay. Oh, there we go. No. There we go. On the island of Miet, it's spelled M. You have like a 15 minute window to get all your filming done. The best view in town from his.